Father, I just oh. heard the greatest speech from the abolitionist Theodore Weld. Oh, good old Ted Weld. I love TED Talks. <laughs> So, how was it? Oh, it was great. He talked about the 10 rules of deception, which mm. made me think of you and, and how you never lie. No, oh, I'm flattered. Do you think you could teach me how to be like that, Father? I think I probably could. <laughs> well, that's funny. It, it sounded like you used equivocation. <laughs> uh, uh, equ equiva what now? Oh, well, Mr. Weld said that that's when people use uh, vague terms in their promises so that they can later contradict their promise. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Welcome home, Robert. Oh. Hello, dear. Did you like the bread I made you? Oh, best bread I've had all day. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll leave you to your father-son time. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Did you actually like the bread? Like I said, best bread I've had all day. <laughs> right, but have you had any other bread today? Define bread. I'm sorry, it sounds like you're deliberately using misdirection. Robert, I never tell a lie. But isn't that a white lie? I like to think of it more as a black truth. <laughs> okay. Daddy, ah, Daddy! Tad, my boy, how was school? Good, my teacher said I was intelligent. You mean intelligent? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What a kind and generous teacher you have. Now, one day I'm gonna graduate high school just like Robert, huh, Dad? If you put your mind to it, you will have a much better chance than if you never thought about it at all. Is that ever not true? Robert, I didn't lie. I didn't say you did. Well, I can't promise anything I have no control over. Oh, Daddy, well, do you read me a bedtime story tonight? Of course you should have a book read to you. <laughs> Okay, that is definitely lack of self-reference. I didn't lie! Yeah, we get it, Dad, you don't lie. But you also never make any promises because you're afraid of people calling you out if you break them. <laughs> what? Uh, why would anyone do that? Answering a question with a question! Well, That's number four! Oh, uh, Robert, I, I have definitely tried to think about trying to make some sort of promise to many people. <laughs> Okay, promises are very important to me. Yes, I'll go with that. Okay, then make a promise to me right now. <laughs> this is silly. Dad! Robert, uh, fine. You know what? I am fine with this. Okay. Well, tomorrow is my final piano recital. Promise me you'll be there. Robert, it would be my honor. That's not a commitment. <laughs> Come on, Robert, it's your last show. Of course, I will be there if I'm not somewhere else. I heard that! That's, I mean, Robert, I will promise. I promise you I will be there, or my son's name isn't Robert. Hmm? Are you talking about Tad? Dang it. <laughs> Tad, uh, can you tell your brother that I will go to his recital? Dad will go to your recital. <sighs> so you get Tad to lie for you? Li a lie? How dare you? I simply asked him a question. Can you tell your brother? C can you? Well, I don't know. It's a simple query. I have no control over what he happens to say. Ah! Why don't you just want to go to the recital? Aren't you proud of my skills? Of course, I am very proud that you try so hard. <laughs> that is it. I can't believe that my own father is so obsessed with not lying that he can't be a supportive parent. I never said I was. You can't call me out on that. Ah! <laughs> Poor Robert. He doesn't understand the importance of not lying. Yeah, I, I do, Dad. I know. That's why I like you more. Do you want to read me a story? I really don't. Okay. <laughs> 